Well, hello, hello. Let me just welcome you to the All In AFO membership class uh, here at AFO. So let me begin by stating as well that we are very much delighted that you have gotten this far in your spiritual journey here at AFO. It's our desire that God would use his church uh, to help you grow spiritually, to help you know Christ uh, more intimately and more deeply, and that you have the ability to use your spiritual gifts and your talents that he has blessed you with through the avenue of the local church. So. If you have gotten to this place, that means that you have already uh, met the team. We've talked about the vision and the mission and the history and the story of AFO. Uh, you've had a chance to go through the core values and the beliefs of AFO. And so that brings us to what we would call week number two, where we talk about the all-in commitment to the local church. Now, if you have your book in front of you, you can follow along with me. And I'm not going to camp out on any of these um, overly long. Uh, maybe just make reference here and there to some of them and elaborate on maybe a few of them. So when we talk about the all-in commitment to the church, and not just AFO church, but uh, AFO is simply an extension of the universal church. Uh, we just happened to be on this corner uh, right beside the Will Inn restaurant on Paisley Highway across from the DMV. And this is where God has chosen for such a time as this to place a body of believers to come together for a united mission and purpose and to do life together. So when we talk about being all in and the all in commitment at AFO, we look at it that it's a twofold relationship. It's a give and a take relationship. There are benefits to being a member of the local body of believers here at AFO. Some of those consist of being uh, spiritually accountable. Uh, some of those um, have to do with expectations and important responsibilities that go hand in hand at work, hand in hand together at AFO. So what I want to do in our time together is I want to talk about what a commitment to the local church looks like. And the reason we have this in place is you probably have heard me even mention it, that it is so easy today for a person to join a church without a true understanding and a true call to commitment. And that can kind of sometimes scare people away, and it can oftentimes draw people in. You know, Jesus said that if anyone wishes to follow after him, to come after him, he says that they must take up their cross, deny themselves, and follow him. There's a commitment involved to following Christ. And the same is true for the church in which he died for. So the way we kind of define it is in a couple of different terms. To be all in at AFO means that one attends regularly. Now, when we say attend regularly, we don't mean that a person should never miss church. A, people, uh, a person should never take a vacation. A person never gets sick. A person never has family events come up. But we do have a call that we see represented in the New Testament. To be faithful means that you are committed to regularly attending. Um, I oftentimes think about it like a job situation, and, and here's what I mean, is that you get sick days that are understandable at work, you get vacation days, you get personal days, you get all kinds of days sometimes, depending on your occupation, to where you, you miss work, and it's acceptable. Uh, but if you regularly don't go in, but maybe 50% of the time, then after a while, after a short while, you probably wouldn't have a job much longer. And though the illustration and parallel maybe not doesn't work exactly 100% hand in hand, there is a close comparison that all, all that we are emphasizing here at AFO is that there's a regular commitment to faithfulness, that people serve regularly, they give regularly, and they attend regularly. And another commitment to the local church is that a person prays consistently. You can follow along in your notes and read about and have the Bible references there before you. 
Also, there's a commitment to live communally. We were never designed to do life alone. And we encourage people that they should hang out together regularly with those who are represented uh, and, 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 uh, in fellowship here at AFO. Uh, and that we do life together through small groups and through serving together. And so we encourage the all-in commitment is seen whenever we live life together communi communally. We submit humbly. Now, this is something that our culture, I think, just is anti-against. And quite frankly, I think there's times to where uh, the church maybe does a poor job at holding this standard up that as an AFO member, um, we're called to submit to our leaders. Uh, we're not called to submit to sin whenever our leaders would call us to do something that would be against God's clear teaching in his word. But there's always going to be times within the body of Christ, just like in a family situation, that people don't always agree with every decision that takes place. But overall, that there's a spirit of humility that you submit to the leadership that God has placed in a variety of roles represented through his local church, realizing that ultimately he is the one that has placed them there to entrust with the leadership positions and we as members are called to submit to that um, humbly. Preserve unity. That kind of goes closely hand in hand with what it means to submit humbly. Whenever we preserve unity, we guard unity at all costs, meaning that whenever we don't like a decision, we don't, first thing we don't do is we don't go blast it on Facebook or we don't go grumbling and complaining but we seek to work out our differences. We seek to maintain a spirit of unity, which is so important and which is seen throughout the Bible, especially in the book of Acts, when the, the Bible says that they were all together in one accord. And then when they were all together, the Bible says that's where the spirit of God moved mightily at Pentecost. Another commitment to being all in at AFO is that we give generously. Now here at AFO, you won't hear us promote what is typically known as the tithe, which is under the law of Moses, where a person gives 10% of their income. If we got very technical, and we've taught this here at AFO, that if a person actually obeyed the law of Moses, they would be giving or should be giving more than 10% because that's what the law called for. Uh, we don't teach uh, that a believer is bound to give 10% or that they have to give 10%. To be right with God uh, but what we promote is what the New Testament teaches in the form of grace giving grace giving is faithful giving to the local church to help the church carry out her mission but it's motivated from the grace that we've received in Jesus's life death and resurrection 10% uh, is always a good place to start but it's not the end so to speak so we encourage that people are to be generous with their time, their talent, and their treasure. So we are a generous people in our commitment to being all in here at AFO. Serve faithfully. We look for places that we can give of our time and our talent. That's a mark of a uh, that's a mark of being all in here at AFO. The pursuit of holiness ultimately. My number one desire, uh, my number one goal, as should be every member here of AFO, is that I try to become more and more like Jesus every day. Uh, that means that the way I walk, the way I talk, the way I interact with my neighbor, the way that I interact with social media, all of those things should give a plethora of who Jesus is, which basically that word holy simply means to be set apart. We are to be set apart to represent the image in which we were created, which is ultimately God's image. So being all in at AFO, it allows for people to participate in the Lord's Supper. We spell this out. Talk about this a little bit in your notes that you've got with you. Any activity that publicly represents the church, um, any teaching or leadership role, things like leading a small group, teaching children, uh, holding any type of office within the church. Uh, this should come through the means of being a member at AFO. 
all-in voting. Uh, there will be times periodically to where the members gather to maybe talk about budget, to maybe talk about uh, building a new building, maybe talking about how do we spend our Acts 1-8 um, that uh, comes in to AFO, uh, hiring of new leadership in the form of pastors and other roles. All of those are an examples to what being a member um, is, is, is considered uh, whenever you are a member of AFO, you get a say-so in some of those matters. Um, so all-in voting um, is a part of one of the benefits to being a member of AFO. Individual counsel from pastors. Uh, sometimes people hit me up on a regular basis, and there's been times to where I've done extensive counseling with people who are outside of our church and that kind of thing. And uh, oftentimes uh, I'm... I'm invited to do a, be a part of wedding ceremonies and things of that nature uh, but marriage ceremonies and uh, counseling and things of that nature uh, it's a given that that's that's my pastoral duty uh, not just my duty but it's my privilege but there's no charge for those things when you become a member of AFO so with that being said it, it, it really just kind of comes down to the question as you read through, as you pray through, as you hear these kind of spoken, uh, the, these items spoken to, the question that you see on your paper is are you ready to be all in in your commitment to the all for one church? So, what I want to encourage you with is you could go ahead and read over number three as you review week number two. And next time, we're going to be talking about the consumer versus contributors. And we're going to be talking about our time, talent, and treasure. And also, I will be sending you guys an email to where you can take the spiritual gift test and inventory. I should say spiritual gift inventory and not test because you can't take a test with spiritual gifts and get the right answer and it tell you 100% this is your spiritual gift, but it can kind of uh, serve as a guide when we call it an inventory to help us discovering our spiritual gifts. So until next time, review number well, week number two, review week number three, and I'll look to see you then. See you then. And God bless you for, for getting this far and becoming an all-in member at AFO.